Talking Cabin Girl, also known as Crazy AF. And this is directed by John D. Wagner. Now, Wagner's actually been a pretty good producer on a number of projects. He produced Bone Tomahawk, Haunt, Strangers, Prey at Night, to name but a few. But here he is in the director's chair. He has done a few uh, movies as director in Cabin Girl, which is a low-budget horror thriller movie, I think made for Tubi. Now, um, this is kind of a, a movie, one of these films where I can't talk too much about the plot because uh, I don't want to give it away. And uh, the movie is surprisingly clever, but I'll give you a brief plot synopsis. It focuses on this kind of um, influencer. Already I can see people's eyes rolling in the back of their heads. But yes, this female in influencer who was originally known as Van Girl because she could have did vlogs on in her van. And she ends up uh, buying this kind of, sort of cabin in the woods as she becomes cabin girl. And then she continues doing her influencing via on this kind of life in this kind of rural community. Now she, she gets lots of followers, so she's a kind of a successful YouTuber and whatnot. And it's essentially about her kind of life um, in this kind of area. But there's a, there's a couple of kind of uh, forces that seem to be kind of working against her. Number one, we seem to have a, a man who appears to be stalking her, uh, trying to kind of track her down and, and ultimately kind of break into her house and, you know, do things, you might say. Um, and then secondly, we, uh, we, uh, we learn that there's this uh, suicide from this kind of uh, girl who lived at this kind of house that she uh, has bought. And she uh, seems to be having these visions of these kind of like this... Uh, ghostly spectre that seems to be kind of taunting her and uh, you know is this kind of house haunted uh, who is this kind of like this stranger are they connected are they not uh, what will be going on you have to watch the movie and find out so let's talk about what I think works for this movie now I will say this this is one of these films where when you watch the film as a whole it's actually a quite clever film it's actually quite clever the plot is, um, you know, one of these films where reveals happen through the film. And you only really fully appreciate it once you've watched the film as a whole piece. Because I'll be honest with you, up until that point, it kind of seems a little bit mundane. But once it's kind of um, all said and done, i got to say, I thought it was clever. It has some kind of quite fun Mr. X. And it's actually quite, you know, it seeds things quite early and quite subtly. Uh, so I kind of quite enjoyed um, the cleverness of the kind of the writing and the, how this kind of narrative unfolds and ultimately. So once you have seen the kind of the movie as a whole, you're thinking, ah, oh, you know, it kind of makes sense. And you can, you know, it takes you on this ride. And I, I think it's, I mean, for me, I kind of started to kind of figure it out sort of, sort of halfway I'll say through the movie but nonetheless I did I think I thought it was a pretty good reveal to be honest with you and you know the plot goes and I think in a you know sensible fashion and you know I thought it was that it was actually quite a well-written film in some ways now the actual character um our, our kind of our protagonist is a little bit of a kind of unlikable character to a degree uh, she seems sort of self-obsessed you know there's somewhat of a commentary on you know, the kind of the modern influencer and how they kind of view themselves versus the kind of the world and, you know, all that sort of stuff seems to be kind of, you know, um, a little bit kind of uh, up their own ass to a certain degree. And that doesn't have much kind of peripheral vision for the, the world around her, which I thought was, you know, it's an interesting commentary on these kind of, you know, these uh, influencers and people who aspire to be influencers which I thought was kind of, was quite fun. But it also ties into the greater narrative of the story. I think the performances were fine. I don't think it was anything necessarily to write home about necessarily. Uh, but I gotta say, I think, um, you know, they did a good job of conveying the characters they were supposed to be uh, seeing here without really kind of standing out in any kind of meaningful way. But it was okay. You know, it shot competently well. Um, you know, it, it's kind of a, uh, 
some of an interesting movie because you get sort of certain characters introduced kind of part way through the movie and then you know you are there kind of trying to connect the dots about what the kind of the mystery is and everything visual effects are minimal but i think they kind of work where they uh, they're supposed to uh, so what doesn't work for me um okay this will be a little vague because i don't want to give away uh, the kind of any real plot kind of points here however what i will say is once you have watched the film and uh you know, you think back, that certainly things in revolving a kind of this ghostly kind of figure, it doesn't, there are some things here that don't make sense. Uh, in From what you we see as a viewer, uh, it doesn't make sense with the narrative that is presented to us. That's kind of all I'll say. I can't really say anything more than that because it, it will spoil things. Suffice to say, um, once you understand the plot fully, and then you think back to, well, that scene doesn't really make sense now. Um, because it was presented to us as a viewer in a certain way. It's kind of all I'll say. Um, I think the the movie looks a little mundane. Um, visually speaking, this film isn't brilliant. You know, it's not kind of like something which is a particularly flashy movie. Nor does it necessarily have to be. But I gotta say, you know, it's not really a, um, a, a all that interesting to look at in many ways. You know, we, we more or less kind of follow this girl around and you know she's not the most likable character there are some clever elements as i've mentioned I think, for example the way she kind of like is always on her phone and you know vlogging and kind of like being kind of clumsy and bumping into people again it's having that sort of commentary on the self-obsessedness but again like that for example does actually you know it's a callback because of that reason specifically so I thought that was that was all quite good, but yeah, it's just not particularly kind of um, visually especially interesting. I think the kind of the the ghostly scenes could have been a little bit more kind of creepy, if I'm honest. They kind of feel like very traditional kind of style, uh, low budget kind of like ghost, you know, girl with kind of like you know hair draped over her face and things like this. Um, some of the supporting cast, like her boyfriend, he just seems like he just grins the whole way through the movie until kind of the end. He's like this permanent grin on his face. It's like it's not necessarily a bad acting, but it, again, it just feels like uh, it's never going to. You feel like this movie's never st stepping up in that kind of respect. Um, but to be honest with you, my my critiques are um, you know somewhat superfluous and somewhat superficial to a degree. I gotta be honest with you. Although this movie is not a flashy film, it's it's kind of mundane up to a point. But I think once you have once you kind of have watched the film and you can think about it, actually that was written. The, the script is clever. It's a cleverly written film with I think with a clever kind of uh, narrative and a smart way to kind of use certain callbacks that it's kind of putting on. Again, it's hard to really uh, uh, give you specifics, but I, I, I thought that was all quite good. It's just kind of like, I think overall though, because the package is an above average film in my opinion, but I don't think it's necessarily outstanding. Certainly kind of like in its presentation. I gotta say this is one where, um, you know, the, I think the engine is, is, is good. It's just the kind of the chassis, which I don't think is necessarily kind of like all that flashy. But I, 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 it's good enough for me to give it a six out of ten. It's, a, it's an above average film in my opinion, uh, and don't be put off with the kind of the blandness of its kind of like uh, um, its kind of visuals to a point. Because it's actually kind of quite clever once you've kind of watched the movie as a whole. So six out of ten. Have you seen this? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.